Hey gang, Doc here from the eSigStop.com and today we're going to take a look at the lava tube from Volcano eSigs. This is the lava tube right here. So let's go in close and take a look at this variable voltage mod and this very sharp looking mod. So this is the lava tube from Volcano eSigs. And you can buy the device by itself or you can get it in a kit. Uh, the kit comes with this uh, very nice cushion lava tube carrying case. has lava tube right on it. It also comes with your trust wire charger and a flat nose IMR high drain 18650 battery that is in it right now. You also get a black swirl drip tip and a 3 ohm high resistance lava tube atomizer and it has the uh, red lava tube label right on it and I'll take pictures so that you can see all of these I also have this is called the tube sock and this is nice so that you can take a tank and put it on like an ego and it'll cover the threads and give the tank a nice solid plane to sit on level too. So that's called the tube sock. Very handy. I also have on my lava tube the tube tank. This is a 7 mil tank. There's a 4 mil and a 7 mil and these are nice tanks. Now even though this is Delrin, it looks and feels like stainless steel. And I've been using this without any problems. No leaks, uh, no problems with it. Even though I have coffee in this and it's almost completely full, it doesn't gurgle at all. no gurgle and it has a uh, 1.5 dual coil in it with just a tiny tiny hole in it which has been working fine for me uh, some people like to, to punch them some people want to punch them on both sides some people want to cut them whatever works for you is is great this one's just got a tiny hole in it and it's been working fine at the bottom of the tank is this, it's uh, indented so that the, the card miser goes right in flat. You can push it all the way in. You know you're there when it stops. And it's a nice little feature. The lava tube, the connection is a 510 threaded connection that is sealed and what's nice about it too is because it does have a, almost like a little tiny well there and around it but it, it's nice it's not raised the tank just sits on there flush and it just looks great on the mod. The lava tube is a variable voltage device. The this is the 18650 IMR flat nosed high drain. This also has reverse battery protection in, it, in case you put the battery in backwards. It is vented for safety, has a nice spring on it, and this is very good quality. Everything about the lava tube is very good quality. It is aluminum, so it is very light. Even with the tank and the battery in it, it is 
still very, very light. Like, you can't take this and throw it out on the street and have a truck run over it and be fine, but uh, because it is aluminum, and, but it's still excellent quality, great look. This switch that's on it is uh, smooth and barely sticks out and it's very clicky, which I like. But I also like that it's just smooth and just it just barely sticks out and so you don't have to hardly press it or anything. It's right there. It has a small LCD screen on it, but it's in red and it's very readable. It has plus, the minus and the plus buttons for 0.1 increments for changing your voltage. So, you know, you just hit the plus if you want this to go up to 4.2, 4.3. You want to take it down, it'll go in 0.1 increments. It is 3.0 to 6.0 volts. And on the lava tube, if you get up there, you're at 5.9, you're at 6.0, and you press the button one more time, it'll take you right back down to 3.0 volts. When they say 3 to 6, they mean 3 to 6.0 volts. There's a lot of safety features in the lava too. Like, the, it has amperage limiting to 2.5 amps. So the device would monitor and shut itself off if it detects any excessive overcurrent conditions. And so it has the short circuit atomizer protection. So it can recognize an atomizer with too low of a resistance for the current voltage setting, and it'll drop it down to 3.7 to protect the battery and the atomizer. So if the atomizer is too low or shorted out, it'll shut off the power to the device to protect the lava tube from being damaged. So if you have a 1.5 dual cardmizer on and you push it to you know 5.7 if the lava tube feels like that atomizer is too low for that setting it'll drop it down to 3.7 to protect itself and it'll protect the battery that way too The device will monitor the battery voltage and automatically turn off the battery if it's discharged, so preventing damage to the battery by so that you're not over depleting it. It also has a battery voltage meter on it, which is a very cool feature. You can just press the red button seven times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it'll show you how much power is left in your battery. So mine has uh, 3.6 volts. So it started out this morning at 4.1 volts. Now it's at 3.6 volts after nine hours of vaping. So it's pretty cool that it tells you how much battery power is left. And so you'll know when your battery is getting close to being reached to be recharged and it just kind of helps you monitor the life cycle of the battery and the screen will flash when the battery needs to be recharged and you know stop powering the device obviously when you it says if you press and hold the activation button for five seconds you can turn the device on or off and uh, on mine it seems like it's only a couple seconds so right now it's on so if I press and hold the red button 1001, 1002 
it's off. To turn it back on, 1001, 1002, well, there it goes. So basically you just want to press and hold that red button to turn it on or off, which is nice. You can turn it off, put it in your pocket and know that it's not going to fire on you. You can also set the voltage, like say you want to set it at 4.2 volts and you want it to stay there, then you just press and hold the plus and the minus buttons for five seconds and it will um, lock that voltage in at the setting that you want. Yes, it has some limitations that you may or may not want, like putting a dual coil on a 1.5 dual coil and trying to vape it at 6 volts. It's not going to happen because the lava tube will override it and drop you down to 3.7 volts. But they do that for safety to protect the lava tube and the battery. So those are things you got to consider. You know, do I want to vape a 1.5 dual coil cartomizer at 6 volts or would I rather have the safety and the protection protecting my battery and my device. So let's vape this. Nice. And I have this right now, it's at 3.9 volts. We'll kick this up a little bit. You just hit the plus sign, take it up to 4.2. Great, great. The lava tube, like I said, for the price, getting a variable voltage mod and a variable voltage mod kit for 69 bucks that does and has all the features built into it that the lava tube from Volcano e has is a pretty good deal. You'll love the switch you'll love just clicking on the plus or the minus buttons to raise your voltage or lower your voltage be able to click on the activate button anytime and see where you're at all the great safety features that are you know involved on the lava tube it's a pretty nice mod thanks for watching you stay on the vapor trail